Jets, Nova Scotia. Vince McMahon presents Hulk Hogan. The Hulkster. Now, those of you who think I've had a change of heart, stop with the Hogan chat already, kid. Those of you who think I've had a change of heart about Hogan, Are you done? You finished? You through? Those of you who think I've had to change your heart about Hogan, you know I'm paying him to stay at home and rot. Um, quite frankly, yes, Hogan is going to be here, but Hogan's going to be here via satellite, not physically here. Now, wait a minute. I'm spending the money via satellite to hook up with Hogan in his home in Tampa, Florida. Now, since Hogan is not physically going to be here, that obviously means that someone else is not going to physically be here. And that would be the individual who made his debut here on SmackDown last week, the so-called Mr. America. You see, it's all started. I paid Hogan to stay at home. Paid him his full contract, just stay at home and behave yourself and rot away. Is that what Hogan did? No. Hogan shows up here last week on SmackDown dressed up in some ridiculous red, white, and blue outfit with a mask on claiming to be Mr. America. Now the whole damn world knows that Mr. America really is Hulk Hogan. The whole world knows it. Why, even, even you Canadians Even you Canadians, some of whom I've been told are mentally challenged, even you know damn well that Mr. America really is Hulk Hogan. So you might ask yourself, how, Mr. McMahon? How was Hogan? Shut up and listen. You may say, Mr. McMahon, how did you, how'd you get yourself in this mess? You know, I mean... Who signed Hulk Hogan? Who signed Mr. America to a contract to begin with? Fans chanting, you screwed Bret as in Bret Hart. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I'll screw each and every one of you, too, if you give me the opportunity. It happened right here in Canada, Survivor Series, 1997. You're damn right I will. With a smile on my face. So how was Hogan signed to a contract to begin with? Quite frankly, I can't tell you that answer, but someone else can, and that someone else would be the general manager of SmackDown and my daughter, Stephanie McMahon. Well, I have to admit, this is a rather uh, uncomfortable situation here tonight. That's about enough of that. Cut the music. I said cut the music. Come on down here. I'm not going to let the music play and watch you prance out here in front of all these people. All right. Oh, great, great. Somebody give that woman a microphone. Hand her a mic. So, Steph, how did you get me into this mess? You tell me how and why you signed so-called Mr. America to a contract. I just did what I thought Let's was just right. Just hurry it up a little bit. I don't have all night. I did what I thought was right for the fans of SmackDown, Dad. I did what I thought was right for business. I heard Mr. America was the biggest superstar on the horizon. I heard about all of Mr. America's experience. I wanted Mr. America and I got him. Congratulations, because I didn't want Mr. America. You didn't consult with me. So why don't you tell everyone uh, 
what the terms and conditions of this Mr. America contract actually are. You know the terms and conditions. Tell them, I said, tell them. I had to counter Eric Bischoff's every offer to sign Mr. America. So therefore, I had to offer Mr. America a contract that I've never offered before. Mr. America cannot, under any circumstances, be fired or suspended. Isn't that great? I'm so proud of you, Stephanie, I can't tell you how proud I am. So now then, why don't you tell me how I'm going to get out of this contract? How am I going to break this contract? Because I'm going to break it. Well, I've been thinking about it all week, Dad, since you put my job on the line. And quite frankly, there is only one way. If you can prove that Mr. America is Hulk Hogan, then Mr. America's contract is null and void. Well, uh, I have some thoughts on the matter, and I would suggest that you take your leave now, and you go have some thoughts on it as well. And little lady, you better think long and hard about this, all right? You better come up with some really good ideas. And while my daughter, Stephanie McMahon, is thinking about how I'm going to break this contract, Well, coming from you Canadians, I consider that a compliment. Thank you.